hi guys hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel and in this video we are going to talk about the installation process of unified labeling client now if you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video we have discussed the process of creating AIP unified labeling policy whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing how to install Azure information protection unified labeling client and what are the basic differences between the classic client and the unified labeling client now if you guys learn something new from this or from any of our videos please feel free to subscribe now before I go ahead and show you the process of installing Azure Information Protection Unified Labeling Client, there is one very basic fundamental that you must know and that is AIP Classic Client will always query labels and policies from portal.azure.com whereas AIP Unified Labeling Client will always query policies and labels from protection.office.com. That's the basic difference that you must know. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my machine where I will be installing AIP Unified Labeling Client. So in order to search for the setup, all you have to type is AIP Unified Labeling Client. That's it. The first link that you get will be of downloading that particular application. You can click on that and you can download it from here. As you can see, to download Azure Information Protection Unified Labeling EXE, just click here and then you will be redirected to a page from where you can download the setup now the moment I will click on download I will get four options and I have to select this one which says AZ info protection underscore UL UL here stands for unified labeling now if you are going to deploy this with SCCM or any deployment manager then you can download the MSI package as well for me it is a client installation so what I have done I have already downloaded this particular file as you can see here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this and I will initiate the installation process now before I click on I agree when it comes to installation process there is only one difference between the unified labeling client and the classic client and that is on this particular console if you will install a classic client version you'll get one more option and that will be installed demo policy so this machine that you see here right now this is the classic client installation and as you can see I'm getting this option of install a demo policy the moment I will click on I agree and I'll click on yes the classic client version will be installed and the same process goes with unified labeling client as well the only difference here the demo policy will not be installed and as you can see I'm getting the same set of options Actually, there is no configuration change that you have to do for installation. Everything will fall in place the moment you will install any of these clients, be it unified labeling, be it classic client. Now, let's switch back to my machine where I have classic client version. And the moment I will click on new mail, you'll see AIP option over here, which will be the classic client version. So for the classic client version, you'll get protect here. Okay. Whereas for the unified labeling client, you will get sensitivity. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my machine where I have unified labeling client. And, and the moment I will click on new mail, instead of protect, I'm getting this option, which is sensitivity. That's the difference between uh, the unified labeling client and the classic client. Now let's quickly verify whether the process or whether the configuration that we have done for policy and label they are working as expected or not. So this was the policy which has actually been assigned to the user with which I am signed in to my machine where I have unified labeling client and we have seen all these labels are getting reflected in the label bar. But if you guys remember when we were configuring this particular label which is first hyphen U L what we have done is we have added a custom sensitivity info type which says that if human resource or concepts work exist as a keyword in a particular document then it should be protected so from here I have shown you that particular sensitivity info type that we have created which is this one now let's quickly click on sensitivity labels and let's go back to our label and let's see whether that sensitivity info type is mapped or not and as you can see in the encryption 
it is encrypted and if we go to our automatic labeling you can see keyword is getting listed here so now what I'll do is I'll switch to my machine where I have Outlook installed the same machine and now I'm going to send an email to one of my user and I'm just going to type the same keyword which should be detected as a regex now the moment I will send this email it should get protected as first UL or it should get classified as first hyphen UL as of now you can see it has been labeled as general because this is the label that we have selected in our policy to be a default label that should be applied to all the documents or email which are not classified or as a default classification it should be presented to a user now what does actually mean that the moment I click on new email automatically general will be selected that's one of the configuration that we have done in our policy now if I go to my sent items and if I check my last email that I have sent as you can see now this email is automatically labeled as first hyphen ul so the policy that we have created is also working the label configuration that we have done is also working as well as the custom sensitivity info type is also working now the last thing that we have to check is how to go ahead and find the logs that are generated by AIP so for that you can click on this option of sensitivity in unified labeling and then click on help and feedback click on export logs and all the logs will be exported in a compressed folder now when it comes to manually checking the location you can go to app data folder on your machine and then go to local and then go to Microsoft go to MSIP and then click on logs as you can see all the logs are getting generated here and you can open any of these and read what all information is getting downloaded on your particular machine how these logs are generated which endpoints are accessed this is something which is more over related to troubleshooting to find out if label is not getting applied to a specific document what could be the reason and this process of finding logs is same for unified labeling as well as classic client so now if I switch to my machine where I have classic client and I click on protect I'm again getting the same option of help and feedback and the moment I will click on export logs the same process will happen all the logs from the same folder the folder location is also same in fact will get extracted into a zip file or into a compressed folder which you can save or which you can review as per your requirement so as you can see all the logs are compressed now and the moment I will click on save all these logs will be saved which I can review as per my requirement now this was all about knowing how the classic client and the unified labeling client work on Windows but recently there is a change which has been announced and on behalf of which all the built-in clients that you get with iOS and Android they natively support unified labeling so as of now in my iOS device I have signed in with an account with which unified labeling policies are scoped now as you can see this is Outlook on my iOS but when I click on new mail I'm getting an option to actually classify and protect so the moment I will click on general I can actually choose any of the label that's available here and as you can see the last a label that I'm getting here is the same one which we have customized from unified labeling console and as of now this email is now protected or classified by the custom label that we have created which was first hyphen UL. So this was all about knowing how you can configure the clients and how they work seamlessly across different platforms. So let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed. We have discussed about how to install Azure Information Protection Unified Labeling Client, a comparison between AIP Classic Client and AIP Unified Labeling Client. And in the next video, we'll talk about how the protection part works with Azure RMS 
when it is combined with AIP. Now, if you guys have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.